Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Grand Prix World and the final part of Season 6 of our Let's Play. This could be where it all goes wrong, but uh, thank you for the support on the series so far. You can probably hear I'm coming down with a bit of a cold, so uh, trying to get videos recorded while I've still got a voice, but uh, no, it's, it's been a fabulous series so far um we've officially hit the more than halfway point of the series there's four years to go after this um and well hopefully one day we will win a driver's title it's looking uh, tricky for this season we may well win the constructors uh if we have a good end of season run but uh, barrichello it's going to have to do something monumental to uh, make up a 26-point deficit to Damon Hill, who is just going from strength to strength to strength. He has been absolutely brilliant all season. Uh, we don't know too much about next year's cars just yet. Uh, we have... Uh, you know, uh, been doing the driving aids. We, we're, we're cheating now. Uh, we are resorting to cheating because the FIA will not pass any of our driving aids, and I have no idea why. Uh, let's get to uh, employing some new members of staff. So, commercial wise, let's see what we can get. So, we can get an excellent and a very good in there. And that in itself is very good. Uh, design is full. Uh, as is engineering and uh, so is the mechanics department that's fine okay good uh, drivers for next season are already sorted out of course uh, Mika Hakkinen is joining us next year that's going to be a, a, a massive deal for us you know we're going to have two A-list drivers coming in um, and hopefully that next year will be the year. I, th I, f I do feel like financially it could well be our final year on the grid next year. Um, we are very much throwing a lot behind our two drivers next year, but we will give it a go. We will see how uh, how that, that works. I know a lot of people think uh, I've made a mistake, but we'll see. Uh, Tuero won the race last time out. Uh, Pedro Diniz came fifth. Damon Hill led from pole position uh, Barrichello finished second um, we have had a few drop out of our commercial uh, sort of gain games uh, which you know isn't good uh, let's have a look at the email so we made a tiny little loss at the last Grand Prix we are ready to upgrade we have got one final uh, spec car to um to come uh fundamental and asprey have gone uh yeah i have no idea whether we're going to be able to get any more commercial stuff in there uh, we'll have a look at that in a little bit let's see how the car is coming along we might as well construct that level 5 traction control um, and let's start working on automatic gears I basically want all of them and uh, we'll get them we'll get them going I don't really care anymore um, the FIA are, are screwing us over at the end of the day so we're just going to beef up the security on our car and hope for the best <laughs> uh, we will have an upgrade in place for the Italian Grand Prix so our C-spec car or D-spec car, I think it'll be, uh, will be ready, and that should take us into the 70s, and, and you would imagine that that will probably um, be a, a race-winning car. It's the last step, uh, my Gascoigne-designed car that we've got. Uh, let's have a little look. I don't need to do too much uh, testing, just a, a small little test to keep us going. Um, yeah, we can pass that on straight away nice so everything uh, gets a little boost and let's get our cars fixed up yeah nice that the cars aren't getting too worn now you know we're coming up with quite reliable cars as they go which is nice 
Right, let's upgrade all the technology. Driving aids. And hopefully it'll all come together into a neat little package. And we'll start to win races again. We've of course had the 1-2 in Monaco. Don't think we've won any other Grand Prix this year. As defendant constructors champions. Our wind tunnel very much under development. Okay, everything looking good there. Right, let's go to the commercial land of opportunity. Uh, computer Associates, they're offering a two-season deal, so let's uh, get some, some more people on that. Uh, as, as our S. Olivia. Okay, that's fine. Um, we will try and get Brother on board as well. I think everybody else has signed up, unfortunately. Uh, we are going to use the success card on um, Computer Associates. That's good. We're nearly at guarantees for all of those, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, that's fine. We'll keep them coming. And we'll see what they can do. Cool. Uh, right then. Uh, I am going to actually increase the aggression of our drivers. Try and pull a little bit more out of the car. As we go into the back end. It, it might fall flat on our face, but we got to try. Um, yeah, we want ultimate speed here and braking and a little bit more grip. That's fine. Okay, assembly wise, everything's looking good. Just need to grab that. Okay. Right, let's get into the action. Yep. Here we go. Oh, has that not worked? No, it hasn't. Right, so. There we go, that's worked out nicely. Um, right, on to qualifying then. Let's see how we get on. Oh, did I put Deniz's driver aid on? Yep, I did. Right, here we go then. Into qualifying. Fourth and ninth. Uh, a bit disappointing from Pedro Deniz there. Not entirely sure why he's so slow i suppose maybe the soft tire is not working out quite as well for him uh, but damon hill is on pole position we've then got sarah's in there in second twero third with barrichello in fourth irvine fifth hackenden in sixth um and then uh magnus in seventh monterum in eighth and denise in ninth very very good okay uh, Schumacher there in 11th. Anybody disqualified? Doesn't look like it. Uh, light rain for the race. That could bring, bring Pedro Diniz straight back into things. We are going to one-stop both of our drivers with that in mind then. And, you know, Rubens Barrichello is an excellent wet weather driver as well, but we know Damon Hill is the GOAT when it comes to it. Uh, we are going to bring him in second he'll have a slightly lighter car for the second stint here we go then let's see how we get on it is going to be a podium is it going to be a win oh second place and it's rubens barrichello that challenges damon hill uh he finishes second deniz unfortunately don't know what's happened to him he had a hydraulics failure early on uh, Michael Schumacher in the points. Nice to see for him. But Barrichello keeping Hill on us, but now 30 points behind. And we're still third in the constructors. Bit of a shame. Right, uh, let's get this saved. That's fine. Uh, we did make another small loss. Um, anything else in there? Uh, nothing just yet. Oh, we got TV stuff, which is good. 
and we have a deal with Computer Associates, with his, which is awesome. Nice, right. Uh, McLaren must now be certain to win the Constructors, apparently. Nothing else particularly in there of interest. Commercial-wise, we can bring another very good person in. Let's see if we can headhunt. No. Uh, very good it'll be. Design's full. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Right, uh, it should be upgrade time now. Yeah, perfect. Right, where does that get us up to then? 74%, nice. That is what we like to see. Right, that's ready to construct. Uh, let's increase the suspension stuff. And then driving aids, that's finished. Good. Right, let's get that sorted out as well. Um, yeah. Don't need 55% on that. Probably just 20%. Um, although, to be fair, we're just not, not going to have another upgrade this season. There's, there's no real point. Uh, although, I suppose we could, we could sort of... No, I don't think I don't think we want to do that. Um Yeah, I don't think we want to do any development testing now. I think we're we're at that point. That's fine, right? Let's get these cars upgraded then. Might be at a point now where we don't actually have to use any more spare parts? Okay. That's fine. Let's pass that on. Awesome. Oh, we have got a bit of damage, of course. Okay, that's looking fine. Let's get the uh, let's get the spare parts made anyway. We did find now at the end of last season that you can take them forward, so hopefully that'll be all right. Okay, here we go then. Right, all of that sorted. On to the commercial land of opportunity. Um, computer Associates. We can do that. That's looking good. Let's use a, a TV advantage on that. And we need one more, so... Take 5% off that and pop it on that. A three season deal, that would be awesome if we could pull that off. Nice, okay. That's fine. Right, let's go all out. Let's see if we can get two more deals signed and then we can just pull out of all all of that nonsense. Right, that's fine.
Nice. Alright. Into the race we go then. Here we go. Right. Let's see how we get on in qualifying. Let's see. Third and fourth. Awesome. So this is with our D spec car. We've now took a big step forward there. Absolutely. That is brilliant. So Damon Hill uh, was on pole position. Sarazin in second. Barrichello third. Deniz in fourth. This is a great opportunity for us to get some big points in the race. So here we go. Let's find out how we get on. Of course, uh, Barrichello will be one stop in the joint. And we'll be having uh, fresh boots all round. Denise heat cycled for the first stint. And then brand new boots for stints two and three. Let's see how we get on. It is going to be a podium. Can it be a victory? Yes, 1-2. That is what we are talking about. That is brilliant. Uh, Rubens Barrichello wins 10 seconds ahead of Pedro Diniz in second. Sarah's in third. Hacken in fourth. Tuero fifth. And Irvine in sixth. What happened to Damon Hill? Uh, clutch failure. And that closes the gap to 20 points. We've got uh, two rounds to go. So, yeah, I mean, it's not going to happen because Barrichello doesn't have enough... Uh, enough victories this season to win on comeback but we can still win the constructors we are now just 17 points behind mclaren so things are going very very well two more rounds to go let's see how we can get on here so that department now full um Let's just check the headhunter. That's fine. Nothing for any of them. Uh, we did make a hefty loss. Um... No, I think we're, we're okay. So we have signed the agreement with Computer Associates. Uh, we have got a race advantage. We've got a guarantee with Mobile. We have a deal with S. Olivia. Um, made good progress with Brother. So I think we've got one more, one more uh, sponsor thing to fill, which is good. Very, very good. Yano Trulli is going to Arrows next season, which is awesome. Okay. Right then. Um, see how stuff is going. That's ready to construct. I still don't think we've actually been told what technologies are going to be around next season just yet. Oh, just throttle. So, right, fair enough. So I'm glad that we are working on that now. But yeah, everything else looking good. Testing-wise, uh, again, you know, we might as well just keep going with that. It's only 40 grand this time. So, oh no, we need to actually pass on the, the research points. Yep, yeah, okay. Right, let's get these fixed up then. Two rounds to go. And uh, another two one-twos, please. And that will... 
hopefully win us the Constructors title for the second year in a row. It's going to be tough, though. It is going to be tough. Under no illusions about that. I'm hoping that, that, you know, the car we've designed next year, it's going to start on a very good footing. We, we're going to have two fabulous drivers driving it. And, you know, I'm hoping with Hackenden in there, we're, we're going to get results early on that we don't necessarily have the pace for. I think next year could be the year. It's got to be the year because if it starts... Then, um, you know, I don't think it's ever going to happen. But, yeah, we're close on that one. Let's uh, play the success card. Uh, S. Olivia, we have got the two year deal with. Fuel, we can take them off that. We'll pop some more on that. Oh! Oh! Alright, okay. I think we've got a full sponsor package for next season then. Well, that's a nice surprise. <laughs> yes, okay. Relief. Good. Right, well, we don't need to be bringing uh, Bruder along anymore, do we? And they're going. They're going to be right at the top. I don't. Can't understand my brother are. Oh well. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll bring Ferrari in good year. Um, I mean to be honest, do we just shut up? Yeah, I think we do. I think VIP. We just close it down now. And we actually put our effort into the talks with these guys instead to try and get these guarantees done yeah that's fine okay nice right and we're ready to go Rock and roll for the final two Grand Prix of the season. So we now got a full quarter of driving aids. We could be disqualified. That is something that could happen. But I'm confident that we'll be all right. So here we go. Heavy rain for qualifying. That's not great. Let's see then how we get on. Second and fourth. Very, very nice. Uh, Hill actually is on pole position. Six tenths ahead of Barrichello, who's a tenth ahead of Schumacher. Diniz a second behind and Hacken in fifth. Panis in sixth there. Very, very good. Uh, outside of the 107 is uh, Collard. It's dried up for the race, which is good news for us. Of course, Barrichello will be on his usual one stop. While Mr. Diniz will be on his two stop. Eh? Okay, let's see how we get on then. Oh. 12th and 15th, a double DNF, a gearbox and hydraulics failure. Oh, well. That has pretty much uh, ruined the championship now. <laughs> oh, well. What a disappointment, a double DNF. Uh, we did make a small profit at the last Grand Prix, but... Yeah. That's uh, a big shame. Oh, we've got some fixed deals, which is good. Um, yeah. 
Well, what a shame. What a shame. Uh, okay. So they're downgrading the engines, downgrading the fuel, upgrading the tyres. For next season. Okay. Right, that's sorted. Okay, so uh, we have a guarantee with Ferrari, so everybody can come off that deal now. We have a guarantee with Goodyear. Um, and them, so... Right, we might as well try and get all of those deals guaranteed. And then we're in a pretty decent place for next season in terms of our sponsorship position. Right, final run out of the season then. Oh, we haven't, uh, hang on, we haven't done any of this nonsense. So, um... Yeah, I mean, we might as well just stick everybody on that. I don't think it'll make any difference, but we'll try. But yeah, gutted that uh, we can't retain the championship. I was really hopeful that we would uh, win that last Grand Prix, get a 1-2. And it was all going to come out smelling of roses, but it wasn't to be. Because our reliability had other ideas. But, you know, these things happen. You get all these spare parts made up. I have no idea what our potential funding is for, for next season. I think we only got 15 million this year, so we'll have a little look and and see what it's going to be. Let's see. Is it that one? No. Uh, that one? No. That one. Okay, so we are going to be a little bit better than last season. So, you know, I think financially we're actually going to be okay. You know, a lot of people are, are, are doubtful. But we are going to be... Um, we're going to go for speed and wind. Why not? For this Japanese Grand Prix. Final Grand Prix of the season. Final Grand Prix in this car. Which has been, you know, a decent car for us. As things go. So here we go, final time, light rain for your qualifying today. Let's see how we get on in qualifying. It is second and fourth once again. So Hill, a second ahead of Barrichello, who's ahead of uh, Mika Hakkinen in third. Diniz qualifies in fourth, Schumacher fifth, Irvine in sixth. Uh, nobody outside of the 107. It has dried up for the race once again. So we will see how Barrichello gets on with his one stop. Uh, he's going to do a longer first stint and then come back down the way with less fuel. And uh, Pedro Diniz on his two-stop soft tyre routine. Let's see how we get on. It is going to be a podium in this final race. Is it going to be a victory? Yes, it is. A 1-2. And that uh, is Pedro Diniz winning the final race 
of his Sauber career. Uh, Damon Hill finishes third for McLaren, so he officially did finish the season with the fastest car on the grid. Hakkinen fourth there, Saracen fifth with Irvine in sixth. Michael Schumacher manages to finish in eighth. Uh, any non-finishers for the final race? Only a couple. Alexander Wurtz with an engine failure. Twerrell with a driver error. And uh, Loron Radon with an accident. Uh, that means that Barrichello finished third in the driver's standings this year. Deniz in fourth. Not too bad at all. And uh, we finished second in the... Uh, sorry, third in the Constructors. 19 points behind eventual winners McLaren. If we'd got that 1-2 in the last race, I think, I think we would have pipped them. I think we would have pipped them. But there you go. That is the end of Season 6. A little look at the, the news uh, before we look. Uh, and nothing else there. Poor season. Damon Hill has won another world title. McLaren's won another World Constructors Championship. Uh, bad news this year. We lost nine million. That's that's fine. We knew that was going to happen. We did make a loss at the last Grand Prix. Anything else there? Let's see if any of our sponsorship deals worked out we got a tv advantage uh, we did get a guarantee with fedex uh a great deal with s olivia and a great deal with computer associates alcatel very good okay nice right cool i think we're ready to to move on let's see what uh, everybody has got to say for us. Uh, a great result for Sauber. Although you have lost ground since last year's victory, your team is still amongst the best. Uh, we did have... Well, it doesn't tell you how many wins there were. 2020, uh, 2003 driver champion Damon Hill. Constructors McLaren manager of the year. And Ron Dennis. Uh, and we are in seventh position on the Hall of Fame. So here we are, ready for the 2004 season. It's all going to be very, very exciting. Uh, but we will be going through all of that in the next episode. So if you have enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more F1 content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.